Then we're going to sing four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! And uh, let's sing Come Thou Fount and praise my Ebenezer. Ebenezer will. I've been chewing this gum since 2019. This is some old gum. It's a year old gum. Mine too, actually. Your dad jokes are on point. That's good now. I'm gonna get a video of you because you're on armrest. How about child size? Oh, whoa! Stab! 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 I want to do a little bit of a different video today actually. It's cold outside and I got a nice coffee. Since it's the new year, I just want to kind of talk about everything that happened last year and then just what my goals are for this year since everyone creates their new year's resolution. It just makes sense for me to create mine. I had a lot of interesting things happen in 2019. First off, I tried a French press for the first time and ended up loving it. Got to see some different places that I hadn't seen before. I finally said goodbye to Lauren in my video where on her, what would have been her 18th birthday, I was able to just kind of say what she meant to me and just finally say goodbye. I built a platform in the Jeep so I could try sleeping in it with a mattress and stuff, which kind of didn't work out, but it was cool just to try it anyway. I took the Jeep off-road for the first time, not, in, not counting the time I went out with Haley in her yard, but actually on off-road trails, I got to tackle some of those, which was pretty cool. I bought a midlife crisis that I ended up selling eventually, but it was fun to be able to work on it for a while. I still kind of miss my Miata. I sold the hardtop for the Jeep, which still might have not been my best decision, but at the time, I was trying to work on my midlife crisis, which we know didn't really work out. <laughs> After three years of working at Chick-fil-A, I finally quit and decided to try something new, which at first I wanted to just focus on my video making and stuff, but due to some circumstances, I just wasn't really in the mood for it, which worked out because now I actually got this new job at a dealership that I really enjoy actually, which is great, especially because I get to make videos and stuff there, which is really cool. And I'm also getting to learn some stuff about photography and different things and just taking pictures of cars there which I think is pretty fun. Something else that happened was I adopted a child and that's kind of sarcastic but actually one of my friends uh, lived with us for about a month which was just something interesting that happened and if you can't tell I am like shivering right now so I'm really trying to not stutter while I'm um, making this video. I almost sold the Jeep which I actually made a video about. After quitting my job and not really having the motivation to make videos, it made me think of maybe just selling the Jeep and getting something new and something different. But as you could see in my video where I mentioned that I almost sold the Jeep, I eventually changed my mind about that. And I'm glad that I did because, I mean, I love my Jeep. I actually got the my dream camera for probably a, probably about a year or two since I've been doing research on what is probably the best camera for filmmaking. Um, the Canon 70D was probably my favorite even though it came out with the 80D not too long ago. The 70D was just ideal from the research I had done. Maybe it's just because it's what Casey Neistat used. But I ended up actually getting a steal on it and the guy actually really helped me out. He also gave me a mic and a tripod and stuff which was awesome. So. At the end of the day, it ended up being a great deal, and now I have a Canon 70D, which really helped with my video quality. I also tried being healthier this year. At the beginning of this year, I tried to jog almost every morning and just really get back in shape, which didn't work out, because um, I actually got fatter, but I don't know, we'll try again this year maybe. Maybe a long summer. The holidays didn't help a lot. I ate a lot of junk food. I bought a GoPro Hero 7, which I don't remember if I mentioned in this video, but I actually bought it so I could make some videos for my job. And I got some pretty cool shots, and I actually plan on using it a lot once I get the Jeep up and glowing. I have, it's so much better than my old GoPro. Like, when I first started when I first started this YouTube channel, I was mainly using my GoPro for the videos, and it was the audio was awful, the video was pretty awful, but 
the GoPro Hero 7 actually gets really decent video and audio, and I actually plan on using it a lot once I get the Jeep back on the road, and I have a lot of plans for it actually. I rode in a Prius a lot more than I'd like to admit, but I also found out a Prius can go about 160 miles an hour, which I didn't even know was possible, so I guess you learn new things every day. I got new glasses, these ones and actually the Ray-Bans, that all happened this year, so that was pretty cool too. Just another thing that happened and I really like these glasses and then for the last two things I broke the Jeep after taking it off-road I snapped the rear drive shaft which was pretty bad in the first place and I know I should have been smarter when I heard rattling underneath the vehicle I thought I had something to do with the steering alignment that I had just fixed but everything seemed tight and instead of doing more speculation I just kept driving it till eventually the front drive shaft snapped off because apparently it had been loose and I totaled the transmission. I probably could have fixed it cheap, temporarily, but at the end of the day, I was gonna have to get a new transmission, so I decided to just get rid of it, and I am in the process of putting an AX15 five-speed standard transmission inside of it now, which is pretty cool anyway, since that's what I wanted from the beginning. And then last of all, I actually turned 19, which kind of stinks, because it's not as cool as turning 18. Turning 18 is like you're finally an adult. Turning 19 is just, kind of weird so that's all the stuff that happened in 2019 and not gonna complain too much it was kind of a weird year but at the end of the day at the end of the day it was still a year I still learned a lot a lot of stuff happened and it just helps me be able to look forward to this next year and being able to do new things this year so I also have a list of things that I want to do this year so here it goes so goals for 2020 Starting off, I actually want to rename the Jeep. We even Before we even had a real relationship with her, I was calling her Kara because I did some research and Kara basically just means beloved and my Jeep is my beloved. So it seemed fitting at the time, but now I'm not really a huge fan of the name. It just doesn't fit her character, I don't think. That and I also get ticked off that anytime I say her name is Kara, people think it's because she's a car and that's annoying. So first off, I want to come up with a name for her that actually seems more fitting to her personality. The next step after that is to finish installing the transmission. Because I've got to work on installing it, but I haven't actually finished it yet. After I get the transmission in, the goal is to focus all my savings on getting her a new top. I was going to buy her a soft top, but I'm starting to think it'd be better to get a hard top because of what I plan on doing. And at the end of the day, I was going to end up having to buy a CJ7 hard top anyway. I want to have the CJ7 tailgate so it can fold down and I can use it as a workbench and also just to cook off of it and stuff. Which is going to bring me to my fourth thing, my fourth goal, is to actually get Kara ready for travel. As far as I can remember since I got the Jeep, I always had this idea of making it like a little camper so I could just take it camping and stuff and I thought it was going to be the coolest thing. Around the same time, I am Jake actually started travel vlogging in his Jeep every day and living in it. Just about the same time that I got my Jeep, which is really cool because I was able to use a lot of his mistakes and stuff and just use him as an example on what I want to do. And it's really cool being able to see someone who wanted to do basically the same thing that I do. The only problem with that is now if I do it, I'll look like a copycat. I always wanted to build a platform in the Jeep. I brainstormed the idea and I probably even have papers where I measured out everything and came up with an idea to build almost like a wooden cot inside of the Jeep. I wanted to have storage and everything. I had the full plan planned out. And then when I actually tried to execute the plan this year, it didn't really work out. And I found out that I'd actually rather have a hammock in it. So that's cool. Another thing I want to do that I didn't do last year, that I said I was going to do last year, but obviously failed out horribly, and I want to try to vlog at least once every week, minimum. My goal is to be able to travel with the Jeep and be able to vlog adventures with it. And that's what I want to do from the beginning. So it's really hard to be able to create that content when the Jeep is down. But as soon as I get the Jeep back up, I'm going to actually be able to create the content I want. So that'll be pretty fun once I get there. It's just a matter of getting there from now. But either way, I have no excuse to not upload at least once a week minimum. Because I can't expect anyone to be faithful followers when I can't even be a faithful uploader. So I want to be able to create content that I enjoy, and so hopefully you guys enjoy it too. So with all those goals for 2020, I actually only have one more left that I really want to shoot off. If you actually look in the description down below, I have a few links to some of my gear I use and stuff. And then also if you look down there, you'll see that you can follow me on Instagram. And also I set up a Patreon. I'm not asking for money, but I kind of am. 
I'm still trying to figure out how to use it. But the idea is that you'll be able to actually pay me a monthly fee to help support me with making these videos. And I know that sounds kind of weird. Like when I told my friend about it, she was like, you want me to pay you? And yeah, kind of, but let me explain it this way. So I want to be able to create content as much as possible. I want to be able to upload one week minimum, but I don't think people realize how much work it is to actually take time to edit and upload videos. And whenever I'm doing that, I'm not making any money. So I put a lot of work and energy into these videos where I'm getting nothing out of it. And if you don't enjoy the video, then I can't really ask you to want to support me. But if you really enjoy watching these videos and you really want to see me improve and stuff, then I have to have a way to make some money, I guess. I don't know how else to explain it. $3 sounds like a lot coming out of your pocket, but if you really think about it, this right here is like five bucks. So for about the price of a cup of coffee a month, if you really enjoy my videos, you're actually gonna be helping me out a lot by just paying this small fee of about three to five dollars. And I'm not gonna be out here asking anyone to pay me, really. I just want it to be kind of an option for you. <laughs> no, that sounds weird. I was trying to figure out a better way to support my Patreon. I don't think I'm obligated to anything, and I think actually whether or not I get supported relies solely on how well I do. So for me, I'm spending a few hours editing and creating these videos, and if you guys like it enough, you're actually giving me some of your time to be able to create more content for you. So that's a really weird analogy for it. But basically, the Patreon link is down below if for some reason you're actually interested in supporting me now. For the first 10 people to support me on Patreon, no matter if you buy the $3 plan or the $5 plan, I am actually going to be giving you a giveaway. One out of the first 10 people who follow me on Patreon are going to actually receive what my first video camera. Not the GoPro, the little Canon HS that I don't have on me. This guy. Cool little camera. It's just kind of a little way for me to say thank you for helping me, and also maybe you'll be able to start making your own vlogs. It helped me at first, and it's a pretty decent camera. Um, not much better than a phone, but still just something a little cool to have. So that's all I can think of for today, and it's still cold outside. On the plus side, my ice hasn't melted. I'm gonna go home now. I just get in anywhere that has warm weather, because it's freezing. So have a good day, guys.